Welcome back guys. I'm a little hoarse today. I got a sore throat going on, but we we did a little plowing the other day because I need a piece of equipment and we had a major melt, but we had some ice going on and I found this in the drive and I'm like, uh-oh. What happened was I hooked the corner of the blade here and it just about ripped the plow off from here. You see how it dropped down? But it snapped this half inch pin right off that goes through the plow here. So we're gonna have to see if we can either weld this back on or get a new pin on it and see if it lines back up. That's our project today. But first we gotta um, take advantage of our nice weather we got. We got like 42 degrees right now. We got about a one mile an hour wind and the sun feels good. Cars, car and trucks filthy. So I want to give them a bath, get them out of the way, and get the tractor over here so I can get near the welder. All right, well, I got the vehicles cleaned and brought the tractor over so what we got I got these little notches where the weight sits on this plow and then these pins just hold it to it and uh, this metal if you look close there wasn't held on there by too much I don't know what they're making this metal out of anymore this is a tractor supply pin but this lines up pretty good right there I think if I just jack the plow up and get this straight, I think I'll just weld right around it while this is on. Unhook the battery. Um, that's probably all I'll do. So I'll get it, maybe I can just get a block of wood and lower the blade down on it until, on this edge, until this gets level. So let me get that out. And I might have, oh, I got firewood right here. I can use a chunk of that. And we'll just get, you know, the weight up there on a chunk of wood. Then I'll get the welder out. Oh, it's almost there. I want it really straight so that it comes right off easy. Straight on this side. Looks like he's got to go down just a whisker more. Alright, what's that got us? Probably too much. It's actually really good. Maybe I'll pull this washer off. That'll let it go in farther. Yep. I like that. And I'll put a ground clamp. And I'll just get the uh, the uh, Lincoln 225 out here. And I'll put a weld right around it. That'll work. I'll be right back. Get everything set up. Alright, I brought out the Lincoln 225. Um, half inch bolt. I'll probably do like 120. And uh, I got... See if there's any rod left on what I did. Probably not. I gotta pick up some, uh, I think 6011. I don't know what I got left here. Hook our ground clamp. And then let's see what we got. We got a little piece of rod in there. Should we be that cheap and use that? Not sure what it is. We don't waste much. And we got nice lots of water here from washing the vehicle. Let's see what rods we got. We got 7018 I don't want to use. And I got 6013, so I guess that's what we got. So if we need one, we'll use that, probably. My gloves and when I bought my other welder I showed you, the guy gave me this Lincoln 
helmet, 9 to 13 shade on it. I didn't have to pay for this, which was a nice little bonus, and I haven't used it. Comes with other lenses. And uh, you heard me complaining on my other helmet that I can never see. But a lot of it is my glasses tint down when it gets that light. It tints down quick. So that's why I'm not a very good welder. So it's very hard for me to see. Um, oh, see my other lens when I put it on like this. I can't even see anything. I can see all this. So maybe it was a lens. But uh, let's uh, fire this up. I'll probably hold on to that with a glove real safe and then I'll get a tack on it so fire it up that's what Terrell says Let's see if this works plus I got a hat on which I shouldn't have but it's a little bit chilly uh, Right now I can see better, that's for sure. But I'm a right hander. And of course we got an old rod. Oh, it should work. She's in the center of my hole. I'll pull that pin out which got bent. We hit a, a chunk of ice or something back there and about ripped the blade right off this thing. So I, I thought it would break that pin and just pop off and it actually cut that in half. It's not pretty, but it's getting good penetration. Get a little dab on the bottom here. I like that. So let's see what we did here. That helmet, I like that. I'll be using more of it. Well, let's see what we got here. I think I've got bronchitis. I couldn't even talk yesterday. Today I can hardly talk. And I don't have a chipping hammer, do I? Uh, nope. But this weld, that looks pretty good. It, it sunk right in nice. I think that's going to work fine. This is a chicken scratch weld. I think because, you know, I've used this a couple of years now. I think I had an old weld we ground off, pulled it, put a different pin on before. So that's why it looks like this. But uh, let me grab some pliers, pull that pin out. We'll get the washer on. This might be all done. Um, and like, you know, we got, you know, mid-February, we got a storm coming later this week. So that's why I wanted to get this going again. We've had a mild winter, so I've only used this like twice. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> we've got a, excuse me, we got a storm coming. I want to make sure this works. And then, like I said, this is more or less a quick attach. You pull the pin on either side, and then you go up where you want to park, push down on it. And then because this blade is lower than this blade by three, three or four inches, that uh, it comes right off from here. You back away, it's all done. Then I've got the factory one on here that still works as a plow. I love the hydraulic angle. Let me get some pliers, pull that pin out. I might have to get a different pin. Well, I got another pin. It's not new. Got a little bend in it. Good enough for this. See me get this bent thing out of here. I mean it's it's really bent. 
I don't know. I was moving right along and I I hit something and spun and you know popped that pin right off, I guess. I didn't notice it till I got moved away a little ways. Is this gonna bring it? We need a hammer. Yeah, she's pretty bent. I have to snap her right off. Uh, she's still pretty warm. Uh, a little beat up. We'll get our washer on there. She fits. It should fit all right. Barely fits. There should be a little wiggle room on this. I'll lift her up and get her pin in. But I want a washer on there so we don't get the abuse on the pin. Let's see if that will give us enough. See the kind of pressure I put on it. Watch what it'll do. She'll lift the tires right up. So when I want to scrape, I put a lot of pressure on it, and then if I hit something and I'm moving right along, that's when it does pin damage. So thanks for watching, and it looks like a simple one today, but we're ready for the storm now supposed to start I don't know if it was later today or tomorrow but wind picked up from when we started and it's clouding up but we'll see you on the next one guys